Minecraft clutches, a key to survival mode. So today, I will be mastering eight clutches, varying from the easiest and most common to the most random and obscure clutches imaginable. So the first clutch I will be doing is a simple water bucket. And since this is so easy, I'm going to spice it up a little bit. There we go. One out of eight done. The second one is a boat clutch. Also pretty easy and pretty like normal. So here we go. <coughs> yeah, pretty easy and pretty normal. Alright. The third one we will be doing is a MLG cobweb. Not used quite as much because water bucket is like easier to manage, but still pretty easy. There we go. The next one we will be doing is an MLG ladder clutch. This is a bit more difficult and a bit more obscure. People pretty much only use this if they don't have a water bucket, but here we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. There it is. So the next one is an MLG slime block. This one is a bit more obscure, bit more difficult, not that much though. And the only reason this isn't used is just because, well, you'll see in a sec. So what you do is you place a slime block, okay. place a slime block, and then you place a water bucket. But why wouldn't you just place the water bucket and forget about the slime block? Exactly. This is why it's not used at all. The next one is an MLG horse. This just isn't used that much just because it's not really needed. Oh yeah! And because... I don't know, it's just so rare and so obscure to find a horse right where you need it. Moving on to the next one. MLG Strider. This one isn't used that much just because it's only in the nether, but it is a good nether alternative. And just like the horse, it's so obscure because the Strider has to be just in the right place. So for this one, you have to do the Strider and then place a saddle on it in midair and then go onto it. Oh my gosh. F3B. Alright, hitboxes. This will make it easier. Yes! Okay. So, since it is pretty much impossible to place the saddle and then get on the strider, I'll be using an advanced redstone contraption to do it instead. I spent hours watching tutorials, tinkering, anything, but nothing worked. I was getting very frustrated, but finally I came up with this. So how this works is I have a saddle and I put it in there and then it goes down this hopper line and should get, yeah, it gets dispensed there. But first we need to add the strider. All right. There is the strider. Everything's in place. Sure, this seems like a lot of work just to not place a saddle, but whatever. Okay, we need to... Wait, this is a very far jump. Okay, start here. Dispense the saddle, and... Here we go. Yes! 
Oh, let's go, Strider. Finally done. Time for the last clutch. This clutch physically cannot be used in survival mode because it uses cheats to its full extent. This is the creative mode clutch. You might be thinking that I'm just gonna do that and save myself, but no, that would be way too easy. Instead, I have to type it in the chat box while I'm falling to save myself. All right. So, what I'm gonna do, slash G tab, C tab. Okay. Three, two, one. Slash G tab. Ah! That's really fast. Okay. Oh my. Ah! Oh, that was so close! Yes! Dude, let's go! Yeah! That is Minecraft's most obscure clutch. Thanks for watching, and new video coming tomorrow.